Hey guys, how's it going? Tears back again with episode number 12 of the My Player series. We're, uh, we're doing quite well as a pro now, as you can see, we're up to 72 overall. We've got a couple of very, very tough fixtures today. We've got Wolverhampton Wanderers in the, uh, in the first one, and they sit top of the league, seven points clear of us. As you can see, they've scored a lot of goals, not conceded many at all, and they've won 14 of the 16 games, only losing two. So we've really got... Uh, a big challenge ahead of us today but uh, hopefully we can come out of this one with at least a draw that would be very nice indeed if we can try and close the gap to those teams at the uh, at the top Wolves and Coventry as you can see we're starting alongside Jefferson in the bottom left hand corner we'll be in a 4-4-2 again although it's a slightly weaker side but as you can see on the right hand side we're doing okay stats wise we've got eight goals and three assists in the 17 games we've played so far a couple of those have come in the cup as well of course advanced in the Johnson's Paint Trophy in uh, Tuesday's episode so uh, if you enjoy this series then feel free to leave the video a like that'd be absolutely superb of you and of course there would have been the AC Milan career mode video earlier on today so uh, feel free to check the channel page for that if you missed it and if you missed the previous one of this series on Tuesday night because of course there was the uh, the Manchester derby so I know a lot of you will have been watching that and not necessarily watching YouTube videos but if you missed that episode then there'll be a, a link to it in the uh, the bottom left hand side of your pictures and annotation and of course it'll be on the channel page and in the playlist as well but let's jump into this Wolves match see if we can come out with at least a point maybe a goal or two and a victory at the very very best cool for over the top if they can find me oh he's played it in behind really nicely we'll whip it for Jefferson can he get on the end of it oh not quite that was a decent whip from uh, from us and unfortunately Jefferson not quite got the aerial ability to be able to get on the end of it Nice ball in behind Henry with the whip, takes a deflection, and the goalkeeper has had an absolute mare. Wowzers, Dominguez, that is horrible. All he's got to do is catch that, and we're 1-0 down in the 11th minute. Sarko with the goal. There's a decent header, I'll give him that, but still, the goalkeeper should be doing so much better there. Takes a deflection off uh, the defender's face or shoulder, and he's just got to catch that. That's horrible, horrible goalkeeping. You can tell it's a second-rate goalkeeper in goal. Oh, not the best of starts. Edwards into goalborne. They're threatening again here, Wolves. We just can't get the ball off them at all. Ball into Edwards. He's got the chance to shoot from distance. Doesn't. Plays in Sarko. Could get his second of the game. Twisting and turning on the edge of the box. Fortunately, we're going to come away with it. Get rid of it. Oh, my God. Jamie O'Hara into Edwards. He goes down. Big shout for a penalty there. I thought that was a foul, personally. Wolves, uh, really, really unfortunate there. Again, play me, play me, play me. Oh, play him. I don't mind. And then cut inside, cut inside. I'm right here. I'm right here. Ugh. Again, twist and turn the edge of the box. We've got it out wide to Davies. That's a decent ball. Jefferson's going to go up, but I think he's offside. Yes, he is. We've done well to win it back there. Great football into Jefferson. Can he get the ball away? He can. Hen Murphy, rather. Jefferson. He squares it. Can we get there? Oh, I threw myself at it. We just weren't quite able to get on the end of it. We've still got the ball. Come on, then. Come here. Go down the outside. We'll try and whip. Oh, he's offside. So we're getting in at half-time, 1-0 down. We haven't been able to put much together, to be honest, first half. Wolves were absolutely dominant for the opening half an hour. We just couldn't even get the ball off them, let alone create a chance. We had a couple of opportunities towards the end of the half. I'm not sure whether I'll have shown you any of them, because they weren't too standout. But as you'll be able to see from the stats, we've had two shots, although neither of them have been on target. But we'll try and do a little bit better in the second half, get ourselves back on level terms if we possibly can. It's a lovely ball over the top, in for Goldborn to chase. He's got the chance to stand up the cross. He does so. Dominguez can't deal with the header. And we go 2-0 down just three minutes into the second half. I said we wanted to get ourselves back on level terms. And in fact, the complete opposite has happened. And the uh, the deficit has been increased from 1-2. to two. It's a good cross, great header. But nobody was picking you up in the middle. It was atrocious defending. And uh, unfortunately, we find ourselves 2-0 down. And all to do in this second half. Got a free kick on the edge of the box here. I might try and pull short and call for the pass. Pass it. He's going to shoot. Is it going to go in the back of the net? Oh, it's just wide of that near post. Decent effort. Really nice effort. Just can't quite get it to curl enough. Gets it around the wall rather than over the top of it. Just not quite got the accuracy to cause the goalkeeper too many problems. He's done well to find us. Now can we step over, step inside, taking a step, Chibangu's taking it off us, we've tackled our own man, can we find the back of the net, we can't, finish, oh has he missed, 
How's he missed? He smashed it into the side netting with an open goal in front of him. I have to apologise to Jabangu for taking him out, but I don't understand how he's missed that. That is so frustrating and they're making a change. Positive signs though, maybe we can get ourselves back in this game. Walls in behind here, a real chance for them to put the game out of reach. The ball comes across, great save for Dominguez off the outside of the post and goes out for a corner. Wows as that was close. What a header from Sacco, great save from Dominguez. I don't know whether he saved it or it just hit him in the face. Billy Painter's on for Jefferson. Nothing came in that corner. I probably didn't show you whatsoever. But Billy Painter is on for Jefferson. So maybe we can forge a partnership and uh, get ourselves back in this game. Come on. We'll have it in here. Billy. Billy's gone. Oh, I can't find him. We won the ball back. Yes, Billy. Keep going. Oh, positive signs in these opening stages. Now Billy Painter's got onto the pitch. And there we go. There's the final whistle. Unfortunately, Wolves were literally and genuinely just too good for us. In, uh, in this one, we take our first defeat for quite a while. It's been ages since we've lost the game. Uh, kind of full credit to the entire team for the way they've played recently. But this was one step too far. Clark and Sarko picking up the goals. And unfortunately, we lose to the team that's top of the table. Our jumping has gone up one, though. That was our 20th game played. And our penalty penalties? penalties have gone up one as well. And has our sprint speed. Jeeps, it's all happening. It's all kicking off. Was that the only one? No. Under Armour shirt, I'm not too sure whether I'll use that. Stamina's gone up one as well. It is all kicking off. New celebrations, we've unlocked new celebrations. Is there any more? Volleys has gone up plus one as well. Jeeps, it's all happening. There we go, that is the last of it. So we've got a six rate, and unfortunately, even though we had more chances, we weren't quite as accurate as Wolves. Unfortunately, I think it was the, the weak goaltending, or goalkeeping rather, goaltending. I'm turning into an American. The weak goalkeeping from Dominguez there that cost us in that one. But uh, we've got Leighton Orient next. Hopefully we can come out of this one. With, uh, with something. You were playing Billy Painter up top along against us again. As you can see, we've got Long in goal as well. Bottom left-hand side of your screen shows the lineup. So a stronger side against Orient. Hopefully we can put in a better performance. And we've done well to get the ball in there. Play the ball into Billy Painter. Can he get the shot away? No. Can he drill it across to us? Oh, he's trying to play me. I'll try and find the man on the edge of the box. Someone's invited me to a party. It's all going off. Call for it again on the edge. We'll go for a finesse shot. Oh, it's blocked. Up we go. Billy is on the ball again. Oh, I've got my strict over my words there. Oh, I shouldn't have called for that. That's my bad, and the chance is gone. Oh, sake, Chez. Oh, chance to nick the ball. I'm going to slide in for that. It almost took the goalie's face off there. Oh, and I've fallen over. Pretty much sums up this first half so far. Come on, Billy. Try and find him over the top. We have done. Billy Paint is in behind. Billy Paint scores, and we pick up an assist, and we go 1 0 up. Finally, we get that league assist we've been looking for. We're going to slide in next to him. There we go. Through the corner flag. Lovely graphics. Nice glitch. Nice dinked through ball on our left foot as well. Great takedown by Billy Painter. Holds off three defenders to fire it into the back of the net. And it's Sheffield United 1, Leighton Orient 0. Try and build on it then in the second half. Nice little step over there. Looks like our skill moves have gone up. Can we do a roulette? Yeah, we can do a roulette. Oh, even though the touch after was pretty heavy and pretty poor. It's not told me that our skill moves have gone up, but clearly we have three-star skills right now. Maybe it's a form thing. I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know in the comments whether uh, whether skill moves are kind of done by form or whether you earn them. Maybe you get extra, uh, like you can have three-star skills for a game if you're playing quite well as an extra, but your default stays the same until you unlock it, perhaps. I'm not sure, but Leighton Orient could be in. Chris Dagnall on the edge of the box. Hounding him, hounding him, get the tackle in, and hopefully the chance is dead. Although that's a good ball in. No chance is dead. We're away. We are away. Billy Painter, let's play the 1 2. Or maybe the 1 2 3 4. Call for it. Oh, he can't quite find me. Away we go. Let's get rid of that, please. Kevin Lisby brings it down. Kevin Lisby scores. Really nice finish from a player that you would expect to have a really nice finish in him. Really experienced pro, Kevin Lisby. That's the polite way of saying he's uh, he's getting on a little bit. He's a little bit old, but still, very, very nice finish. Tidy finish on his left foot across the goalkeeper into that bottom corner. They've pegged us back to 1-1. We'll, uh, we'll have to go again and get ourselves back in front, shall we? Lisby's caught us. We could, be, we could be going 2-1 down here if we're not careful. I'm calling the second man to come across to Kevin Lisby, but that's left a man free in the middle. They've got a man over on the far side. 
Get rid of it! Oh, that was so close. So close to being an own goal. We'll call for it from Billy Painter if he can find us. Okay, we'll call for it in there. Away we go. Have we got the first touch? No, but we've got the strength to shug him off. No, we haven't got the strength to shug him off. We need to get on the weights. Nice ball into James there on the edge of the box. He played it in behind. A chance for Chris Dagnall to make it 2-1 late. And Orion, and he has done. Head in hands. We've thrown this game away. That's horrible defending again. The, the defensive line tried to step, I think, and they just timed it completely wrong. Tried to step up. Did Dagnall in behind. Chris Dagnall in behind. Great finish near post. From being 1-0 up, we now find ourselves 2-1 down. Murphy into us. Got the turn. Get round two. Get out of the way, please. I don't want you to be offside. We'll stand the cross up. Is there a man at the back post? There is, but he can't quite get the header on it. And Leighton Orient clear in the final whistle goes. After being 1-0 up, we end up losing the second game 2-0. It's the first time in ages that we've lost the game, and we've lost two back-to-back. -back. That's actually what happened the last time we lost the game as well. We lost both games in an episode. Two goals within 10 minutes in the second half. Chris Dagnall, Kevin Lisby, two of the better strikers in League One, to be completely honest, making the difference. Pick up a 6.4 rating. Uh, we do get the assist, which will, uh, is nice on a personal level, but still... To lose to two of your biggest uh, promotion rivals is uh, rather disappointing. We'll have a quick look and see how the league table sits as, uh, we, as we end this one. We've got MK Dons next to sit four. So another massive, massive game coming up in the next episode. But as you can see, we dropped down to fifth. We're, uh, we're still two points inside the uh, the playoffs. But as you can see, Leighton Orient are the team that are chasing us down. We just lost to them. So we lost the top of the league. We lost to the team that are chasing us in the playoffs. We've got MK Dons, fourth versus fifth in the next episode, which will be coming to you on Saturday. So be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed, guys. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of this series. Of course, there was the AC Milan career mode episode earlier on today. There will be another Milan career mode tomorrow afternoon. So uh, feel free to check sub boxes for that as always. And uh, then we'll have my player Saturday and Sunday. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.